Um, Alright guys, how's it going? Um, I just wanted to do a quick update and kind of collection tour for you guys real quick since I haven't posted anything in about a year. Um, I've been like really busy with school and um, my new business that I'm running. And just fun stuff. School's not fun. <laughs> um, but here's my. I've started a business um, buying and selling transformers off of eBay. So I just like buy big boxes of random transformers um, and then resell them individually at a profit. Um, so, and I've been doing that since January. And I've kind of been spending most of my time doing that lately instead of YouTube um, uh, I've been making about 125 percent profit on the things I've sold um, and it's been pretty cool I've been able to get a lot of transformer figures that I wouldn't have been able to get if I had just um, spent the money I made from mowing lawns which um, none of the transforms I'm gonna show you have been purchased with my by my parents. Like maybe a few of them for Christmas or something, but the probably ninety percent of them I've purchased with money I've made um, from my lawn mowing and then from my eBay selling business. So here's a bunch of like legends. Um, scale figures um, and these weird knockoff ones uh, I really like this shockwave he's really cool um, I also sell these 3D printed hands on eBay they're fully articulated for um, combiner wars combiners um, these are only two of the colors I also have black blue white I think um, here's my collection that I'm keeping I bought all of these before I started my eBay business so I'm not selling any of them this is all my Autobots my Decepticons are on the other side of my room. That Ultra Magnus is super expensive now. You can sell it on eBay for like $60. Um, I think... Uh, um, and then uh, Fortress Maximus. Um, the Ford GT. I really like GT40. It's a really awesome looking car. This one's kind of in bad condition. That's why I bought it with the lot and decided to keep it. And that's like one of my oldest transformers. This one right here. Benny Spaceship. Um, and I have more transformers I'm selling down here. Um, I think some of the best tra ones to sell. Um, definitely the newer ones are the worst to sell. Like... Um, Titan's Return and Power of the Primes and stuff like this hound is super awesome, but you can only sell it for like 18 bucks um, Prop and like I have two of these and I've never I haven't sold any of them um, The classics the older classics from like 2008 are the super good like you could sell the classics Skywarp for like 50 bucks I've had two of those Masterpiece figures are actually super easy to sell too, even though they're so expensive. I've had a um, Sound Blaster, um, the Takara, Takara um, and the Hasbro Thundercracker. Um, uh, yeah, the newer. See, there's my other. Whatever that kind of. Uh, Dreadwind. Titan's return is terrible. R.I.D. is actually pretty good. 
easy to sell. Cyber versus Amazing. They're so, you can sell them for a ton. Um, yeah, that guy, he, I don't know, he's up for like eight bucks. And then this is a lot I just got. It's super amazing lot. I got it for 200, all of this stuff. I can't even fit it in the camera. All of that for $275. It comes with a uh, leader class Revenger, the Fallen Jetfire. It's only missing the, uh, it's kind of like the most frustrating panel thing ever. Um, it's only missing the missile. Um, uh, that uh, caliber Optimus Prime. I always really wanted it. It's super awesome. I haven't transformed it yet. Um, later class, Megatron and Optimus from TLK. Um, and then uh, that Grimlock, Blackout, those guys. Uh, Masterpiece movie, Optimus Prime. It's really cool. I just tried to transform it. It's a really easy, fun transformation, except when you're trying to tab everything together at the end. It's super frustrating. Uh, it looks like a piece of junk in truck mode. Like, this transformation is super fun, but it doesn't work. It's like a broken transformation. It's amazing, but it's the worst. Um, and then this Devastator. I think it's only missing this panel. Um, and then, like, some junky figures. Uh, that shockwave is really good. I think this is missing the knee panels. But, like, $275 for all of this. Like, this is a $100 figure. This is a $100 figure. That's, like, a $60 figure. Um, I have a parts one of this with the knee pads, so that's, like, $100. Um, that's, like, 100 bucks. Um, Studio Series Thundercracker, Studio Series Starscream, um, a Pagani Wyra. Um, I really like this car too, it's really cool. Um, and then the Camaro Bumblebee. It's Mine actually isn't that bad, except like, that arm joint pops off all the time. And this part falls off. Like, there's, I don't it's it's a pretty neat it's fun it's a fun transformation um uh that guy the centenario um the aventador this guy is the worst he's terrible um a ko oversized age of extinction i think optimus squeaks that's definitely the best of them all. <laughs> um, the AMG. Um, and the Sentinel Prime. I have a parts one of that too. I don't think it's missing anything. And this is the second one of these I've had. Um, these are pretty easy to sell. I'm thinking this and this will sell pretty quick. And then I can probably sell that for like 80 or $100. Um, um, I'm, I think movie figures are pretty easy to sell too. Um, I got another hound. I've had that one for like a year, so I'm like, hopefully I sell this one. Um, I've had like 20 of those classic Seekers though. I've had the complete set at least like two times. Um, I think my brother my brother does it too I start I made I got the idea to buy and sell transformers and then he just like started doing it at the same time um, over here is my Decepticons and the that Lego set um, the Imperial shuttle tar Tardarian Tidarian I think um, we got a lot with a bunch of these bot shots in it they're pretty cool we got like all the stunticons um scourge r.i.d scourge is like my favorite thing ever um he's so awesome the transformation is like four steps but it's the it's just awesome devastator um bruticus 
with those articulated hands. They're really cool. Like, um, I even put a little thing so they can hold guns. Um, which is really cool. So this was an awesome one. I'm thinking it's at least, at least worth $600. At the least. I probably have at it, um, and it's like four, I think 42 individual figures, and I'm not counting, um, like each guy for the combiners. I count this as one <laughs> Devastator as one, so it's 42 Transformers. I think I have at least like two or three hundred figures. Um, yeah, the Seekers are the best. I love, I love the Seekers. I have like 20 star screams. Um, I think I have all the triple changers, I think. No, I don't have um, Astro Train, actually. I've actually never had an Astro Train. The Titan, the, um, what is it? Titan's Turner Power of the Price. Here's all the masterpiece figures. Oh. Uh, my brother has the um uh like Toys R Us first edition masterpiece softers prime that he got in a lot. And here's a bunch of Lego stuff and all those um uh, um Okay, here's some of my brother's collection. Uh he's He's like the Unicron guru. He's like had three of them. Um, I think this one's miss missing the crotch pad. <laughs> or um, the Aston Martin. Um, this is like the last one Transformer figure that we bought together. Brand new from Toys R Us. Um, a bunch of these stuff Legos my brother my younger brothers this is my brother I'm gonna okay um okay this is some of my bro younger brothers this is my second youngest brother like the next brother after me and then this is the brother after him um all his minecraft stuff He's, um, oh yeah, here's the Masterpiece first Optimus Prime. Um, and then this is my youngest brother's. Um, so I have two brothers. So this is the second one's collection. The one who's obsessed with Minecraft. He's, um, ten. He has this fan's project guy um okay this is where we do most of our store most of our stuff that we're selling um and ship out the packages uh we have boxes uh paper an empty drawer um more boxes more paper and some transformers um some eye gear those are actually like the worst things ever they feel so cheap they feel like they, they probably cost less than a penny to make or something um some more wrapping stuff here's my other mountain of random assorted boxes this box is kind of empty, so I'm going to have to refill it a little more. Um, nothing really that great in here. Um, I don't think I have anything, like, really cool in these. This is actually pretty good to sell. Um, but I just, like find lots with like I would buy a lot with 
you can't see. Um, I would buy like a lot with all of maybe like 20 figures. And then you look up the values. Um, Um, to find out how much they're worth, uh, and then figure out how much it would cost me for like all the eBay fees and the shipping fees and the PayPal fees, um, so that I can figure out how much profit I'd make and if it's a good deal or not. Um, we have like we have a bunch of multiples. We actually have like three or four of these now. Um, bags. You want to keep your figures in bags, that's to keep them from losing their parts. This is another lot my brother got. I don't usually like getting boxed stuff unless you can get it super cheap. Like it's, you can actually not make as much money from boxed stuff as you can from loose stuff because it costs so much more to ship um, and it, you only get like two dollars more. Now, we have two of these. Um, I want to get um, what uh, Abominus. He looks really cool. Uh, this is our first one. Of that guy. I actually this guy is actually really cool. I really like him. He, he's probably one. see. Um, we have a bunch. We I think we have four of these Thunder. There's another one, and I have one in my personal um, You wanna? It costs a lot to get bubble wrap, so I, 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 we always use a lot of bubble wrap and paper from the packages that we get. Um, that because when people send it, they pack it with paper, so we use a lot of that. But we also have to buy a lot on our own. It's like twenty dollars for. Oh, a lot. Um, we have the Masterpiece Shockwave. So we have two of these. I have one in my personal collection. And then two Masterpiece um, Silver Streaks. So I have three of these because I have one of these. That, that I have the Hasbro one of this. And it was my first Masterpiece figure. Some Combiner Feet. Um, six Shot. Um, a custom painted Megatron that I got. Um, I'd say stay away from box stuff mostly unless it's like this big or unless it's super crazy expensive like this. Like these I'm only selling for like 40 bucks and it'll pro probably cost me like $20 just to ship them because they're so big. Um, um, an eye gear. This one's actually not that bad. Uh, Cyberverse. Cyberverse is really good. I really like that guy. He's really cool. Um, some Legends. Legends, Legends. What? what? Oh. Now it's only worth $5. Um. Yeah, so. Like, what do they call these? They're, it's called Takara Legends, but is this a Takara Legends Legends figure? Because it's a Legends size figure. Um, Blitzwing. Oh, another one of those. Fall of Cybertron. Yeah, Fall of Cybertron, Grandma. I always get confused on whether it's Fall of Cybertron or War for Cybertron. Over here, we have some of my brother's stuff. Um, that is an eye gear. That's the. This one's the, um,. R.I.D. Voyager Megatron. This figure is like super expensive. You could sell it for like sixty dollars. Um, Titans Return Broadside. Um, I don't know what that even says. Um, RTS Perceptor. RTS Perceptor is terrible. It's the worst. Um, so, yeah guys, that's pretty much my collection, um, it's pretty fun buying and selling all these Transformers, oh actually, I'll show you my favorite thing.
that I own. This is a motorized two-stroke bike. I bought the engine and it came with the gas tank and everything um, and the, you know the throttle and stuff to make this a bike into a motorized bike. Um, it was only like a hundred dollars so it's pretty awesome. Um, it's like super fun but um, this is my favorite thing that I own. It's a 2000 KX 125 dirt bike that I'm trying to flip. I'm not like not trying to flip it off ramps or like through the air stuff, but buying and reselling it for more is called flipping. Um, it's really cool. Since I'm I made a lot of money from buying and selling my transformers, so I just want to move on to something more. Um, uh, that could make me more money. Um, but guys, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully I'll be posting some more, um, stop motions, a lot of transformations with these new figures I'm getting. Uh, um, probably not the masterpiece movie Optimus Prime because that thing is terrible to transform. Like it's, it's super super fun until you have to tab everything together because it just doesn't tab together um, which is really frustrating um, yep, thanks for watching guys uh, stay tuned for more